Hello, we're so glad you're with us this morning. And welcome to Children's Chapel. Before we begin, let's uh, center ourselves and invite Jesus into our hearts. Let's take three deep breaths together. Today's uh, gospel reading comes from Matthew, chapter 22, 34 through 46. Let's read. When the Pharisees had heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment, and second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They said to him, the son of David. He said to them, how is it then that David, by the Spirit, calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one was able to give him an answer, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. If we remember from the past couple of weeks, uh, Miss Emma talked about the, the Pharisees. You know, they were the ones that really knew the law. Um, and they were the, they were the legal minds, if you will. And so the Pharisees there are, are asking Jesus the tough legal questions. And Jesus, you know, turns the tables on them and asks him, asks them about the Messiah. You see, the, the, the Pharisees thought they had it figured out. They were doing the law, they were tithing, they were fasting, they were doing everything they were supposed to do according to the order of things. But at the same time, they weren't treating their neighbors, those that they thought were unpure or the, that were less than with, with love. And so Jesus goes right to the heart of the law, uh, quoting Deuteronomy uh, 6.5, Love the Lord your God with all of your heart and all of your soul and all of your mind. Now, this, this particular verse of Deuteronomy is called the Shema. Uh, it's, uh, it's one of the most ancient Jewish prayers that happened to be found in, in their morning prayer. And the answer was so simple, yet so traditional, that no one could argue with them. You know, this was Jesus um, really showing his, his authority as teacher. Um, and, and there he's telling us that we have to shower each other in love no matter what. And that the Pharisees were getting it all wrong. It's you can't have, you know, a perfect right and under perfect life and understand it all with the, with the laws being followed without loving your neighbor. And uh, so I invite you this week to, uh, to think of that, to, to think of how we can best show our love. If we remember what Suzanne said a couple weeks back, that it's not what we wear that matters, it's how we clothe ourselves with love, with kindness, with mercy, with generosity, and showing that to all. It's uh, knowing God and loving God is, is showing all of our, all of, all of the people around us, that same sort of love and kindness. So think about that over the coming week. Have those opportunities, recognize those opportunities to show love and gratitude and kindness, to not only live by the law, but to practice it and to show it forth in your life.